Welcome to Rebound Sports and Physical Therapy here in Loveland and Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, today we're covering some frequently asked questions regarding running and running injuries. Uh, today's question is, what are the best ways to prevent overuse injuries with distance running? Uh, in that context, there are four key variables that we want to consider and uh, kind of manage. The first is equipment, which uh, with running is basically your shoes, and do you have the right shoes? Uh, are they fit correctly? Uh, are you a neutral shoe runner, a stability shoe, or motion control runner? Uh, that should be something you're well aware of and, and have matched to your body. Uh, second one is your training schedule. And that variable is obviously the number of days you're running in the week, uh, total mileage, uh, long run distance, and then are you util utilizing a specific program or are you using a coach uh, that, that outlines your running schedule? The third variable is the surface that you're running on. There's a big difference between treadmill running and over the ground running, uh, especially when comparing concrete versus softer surfaces. And then fourth uh, is the area that we tend to handle the most in physical therapy, and that's your body. Uh, are you balanced in terms of range of motion in your joints? Uh, balanced in terms of your muscle strength and stability such that with increased running or training, uh, you're not starting to break down biomechanically. Also in the category of the body would be, are you getting good rest, uh, getting good sleep? And then finally, uh, recovery. Are you doing a decent job of recovering or at least listening to your body? In that category of the body, we also talk about an injury prevention program. Uh, there are very specific things that runners could, that they can be doing different from other sports uh, given that we're talking about a motion that is just reciprocating and always uh, right, left, right, left, and by reciprocating we mean that whatever's happening on one side of the body, we want the exact opposite to happen on the other. Um, one concept that we're most familiar with is that if something's tight in your body, most people will advise you to stretch. And if it still, it still remains tight, unfortunately they'll just say stretch more or pay somebody to just beat the living tar out of that tight tissue. Uh, we now know that tightness is an indicator of something else going on and many times that tightness is nothing more than the body attempting to stabilize what is unstable and in doing so it recruits more and more muscle uh, to try and do that. In those cases it's very important that you look deeper and ask the question why is it tight? And the answer to that is usually that some muscles are kind of on a uh, labor strike if you will. They're on vacation and your nervous system, trying to meet the demand of not falling down when you're running, is having to over-recruit other muscles. And that creates a, a major problem. So developing a program where you are, uh, if you will, creating muscle memory in your key running muscles is critical uh, so that you have what we call strength endurance. Those key running muscles do not fatigue out during certain runs and then go into a compensatory mode. So. Uh, those are some of the answers to the question today. I uh, hope you have a great run. Contact us if you need anything.